Hello, everyone who is not here, and also, well, everyone watching live, or not live, or VOD, I don't know, I'm tired, I wonder if my, uh, I wonder if my, uh, oh god, yeah, dropped frames, 99, for some reason, like, whilst I was playing the intro music, my PC just decided to brick itself. I don't know why, but it seems to all be looking good now. But yes, thank you, YouTube. I know, I know it broke, but should be working now. Let me just check. Yep, that's all good. It doesn't give me an idea whether it's actually. There you go, stream health. Poor. Poor. Really? Really? Can't be poor. Let's have a look, shall we? No, it's it's totally fine my end. It's the game's just lying to me. Anyway, welcome to Pyre. It's Wizard Basketball. We're gonna be making a new profile, and I've totally forgotten how to play, but we're gonna give it a try anyway. Oh, I did a volume change on that. It should be good. It's weird. Uh, let me um. Go back. No, wrong one. No, oh, perfect start as always. There we go. Down we go. Quiet. There we go. Um, subtitles, please. Let's. Uh, Let's make this easy for me, why not? Let us begin. Pyre is sort of a black horse in the uh, Supergiant Games catalogue because it is sports based, but aesthetically it is mwah, beautiful. I mean, look at that. I imagine it's, you know, expecting me to click right now. Please let me know if the audio is okay. It might be a little bit too low, might be a little bit too high. Who knows? Doesn't get much egg. Muki Risata Tarami Taco Tay. Oh yes, one thing that I forgot about this game is that you can select your pronouns. 
I had noticed that when I was looking in the menu earlier. I thought, oh, I thought it was just like set to he or she, but they also include they, so I'm going to be going as they. After the others leave, the man turns towards you and begins to unfasten his mask. I do love, love the uh, language they're speaking in. Very much like ants to their world building. Hedwin, he'll be joining us throughout our journey. Yes, so we appear to be thrown out of a place called the Commonwealth, a proud country risen from the ashes of a fallen empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups, founded on the principles of mercy and kinship, whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. Now, if I try to do the proper pronunciation, I don't think it will be Jodario, it will be Yodario. If you're following sort of the same uh, grammatical, well, pronunciation as you would do with Jotun, not Jotun. So it'll be Yodario. Hopefully I'm correct with that one. All I have to say about this person is uh, moustache. Um, nice to meet you and all, but tell me something, do you know how to read or what? According to this, I don't. I'm going to deny, my, I don't know, maybe. Let's find out what a reader is. One who can derive meaning from text. Hmm. Hmm, you don't say. Literacy has been prohibited for centuries. Those with knowledge of the old ways violate the law of the land. I either admit it or deny it or remain silent. It's quite interesting to learn that literacy is banned. Oh, hello. Hey, Anton. You do love the Mingles show. Why are you up at half one or half two your time? You can come and watch me play Pyre with no one else. 
and have a look at this weird dog with a moustache. Is my volume okay? I think it's alright. Today we are reading a book. And shall we have a look inside the book? One thing you've got to do is click everywhere. Should really have my mouse shown for this. Awesome. Thank you. But you can also pick up my clicking, which is fine. Shall we read this, the foreword? A formal welcome undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside, such as we, the eight who wrote this book of rights, that you possess it and have capacity to glean its words is testament enough to your potential. Thus we reveal a path from the forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming in glory. And the stars themselves shall be your guide, ere the turning of the year's first solstice. Seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of the eighth, as they align as shown. Arrive as a triumvirate, clad in the raiments of the rites bearing this book. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Or I could have just read it from there instead of actually reading it from the book. Why not? Is that it? I can't click anywhere else. Cool. Kisantirna. Oh no, we were killed by reading. It's like when the average British person reads something that's not the newspaper. So soon after your sentence into exile, it is true what the book says. You can be free again. Perhaps not you yourself. But someone worthy of the privilege. You witness now the path towards salvation. You witness the rights, the one way to return to glory. It's time to, uh, I hardly think it it's time to play wizard basketball. Yes, by the grace of the scribes, it is my duty to inform you anyhow. A celestial orb falls from the heavens when the time is nigh. Exiles conduct the rites as a triumvirate, for they must prove their trust in one another. Not just in themselves. The three must act as one. As I said, wizard basketball. Yes, the exile Edwin has the way of it. 
Whoever steps into the flame is banished for a time. His or her cohorts must make do on their own. Oh, but it is not so simple. In the rites, you shall face adversaries whose own freedom is at stake. Beware the aura that surrounds them, and they shall beware yours. The aura is your wrongdoing. Accept it as a part of you. Cast your aura like a stone. Correctly done. Again. Just so. A glorious performance, I admit. More than I expected from the likes of you. Grasp the orb once more. Sorry, I was just turning it slightly down. All right, let's 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 play ball. Or not. Great. There. There we go. Now snuff out the adversary's pyre while yours yet burns. So it is. Oh great, this is going to be painful. Final one. for five hours. You could say the same thing about what I do at work. I never listen, never learn. Right, an ancient ritual competition through which the worthiest exiles regain their freedom. Cool, now we get the get to do the star stuff. What was that? Cap Caprias, the olden star. A star of the Moonstag Hunter, those born under it are ambitious, though also discontented. 
What do I do? What do I do? do, I, do I, oh, is this it? Goal, the South Star. The South Star burns bright over a massive ridge of stone, much farther than the naked eye can see. Cool. And off we go into the world of Pyre. Probably one of the, well, I don't know. I'm not sure about popularity when it comes to super giant games. I know that Hades is like right up there at the top that everyone absolutely adores, but I don't know. I kind of feel bad that Pyre never really received the uh, recognition that it kind of did. I mean, Bastion got like a lot of a lot of like coverage at the time for being you know Supergiant's first game it was also published by Warner Brothers if I believe but then like Transistor did have a bit of popularity but was kind of I would say it's still overlooked compared to like Bastion and Hades and then there's like Pyre which I like to say is the dark horse of the French of the of, of their catalogue um, just because you don't really hear about it you don't hear about it at all Anyways, we arrive in the Downside Prairie, where the road ahead is forked. There is a lack of consensus about which way to proceed. It is one of the Downside's only verdant regions. It only gets less hospitable as you press further north. Oh great, do we, um, which advice do we go? Do we go through the hollow route or do we go through the blooming pool? Personally, I would take your diarial's choice because your diarial is cool, but I don't know. Rusky says that we could go through this way. And I think you do get some sort of benefits through going through it. Rare flora. Rare flora or no someone's who's own, who owes him. Hmm. Hmm. We'll go with the blooming pool. Why not? I think I did that the first time. I can't remember. Cool, a flower. I wonder what I'm going to do with this. I don't know. Edwin's always there to back us up. Triumvirate 
his breath. Your adversaries in the rites this eve shall be the accusers. Whose ever pyre yet burns once the other is extinguished shall step closer to freedom. Now let the rites commence. We're facing the banana boys tonight. This is probably going to go terribly. So we are called the Nightwings. We are Team Blue. It seems your fellow exiles has, have assumed their identity, so... What? Is it saying that the Nightwings were someone else before, and then... The current team has kind of taken over, I guess so. That guy looks cool. Lendel. Let's play the basketball. Begin. What's bound to happen? Have the accusers underestimated you? Righteous fire. This game's easy. like that you elude banishment using such tricks poor Edwin Rudy plunged into their fire Told you, easy. I'm I'm a total pro at this. I, I lied. I'm amazing. You're all fooled. I'm actually a pro pyre player. Yeah, that, you, you're right. I'm, I'm a. <laughs> this is an Hogwarts Legacy. No, fuck that game. We don't play that shit round here. Um, God, that's loud. Oh well. Now 
That was a little bit too loud. There we go. Oh no, I think I just killed the audio. Oh no, I ruined it. I ruined it. Oh, that's because I'm doing the wrong one. Come on. There's no sound now. This is annoying. Hmm. I've broken it. Anton, help me. You can hear my sniffing. Sorry. Is that all okay? No, that's not good. Hold on. Now I've broken the audio. Oh well, I guess we're just doing this now. Oh, come on, there has to be a way how I've broken it. Properties, filters, advanced audio properties, no. What have I done? Is it this one? No. Oh well, it's broken. You're gonna have to listen to me now. That's what I get for tampering with the audio. Who knows? Oh no, I fixed it. Sort of. We're gonna walk with our boy Hedwin, not Hedwig. Now that you've said Hogwarts Legacy, all I can think of is just Harry Potter characters. Thanks. Right, do we actually get a choice to pick all of them, or is it just one? I can't remember. Sure, let's ask why he was exiled. It's a bit of a personal question, but who knows? <laughs> yeah, I love Merlin. <laughs> sure. Sure thing, Hedwin. Well, the other, I, I like all the little details in this game, like you've got all the additional stars, even though you don't really need to look at them. Like, what's this? Geminian, the Olden Star, first of, Star of the First Empress, the book, the, there, yeah, Star of the First Empress, those born under it seek knowledge and new experiences. Oh, I wonder what zodiac sign that's based on. It might even be my own. But we'll be looking at once again. Is this Yomir? Yomir, the dusk, the dusk star, or the Yomir? It won't be Jomir. Once again, it's going from the same principles as Udario.
So, in this playthrough, I'm probably not going to read through all, all of the lore. I'm going to leave that down to yourself to read, because I don't want my throat to absolutely die on me. However, the first one is called The Emperor's Fall, a history of Solium, Solium Mir, or Solium Mir, the first exile and the foremost of the eight scribes. Oh, I can't even read it. Never mind. You know perhaps the thrice-cursed name of Solium Mir, the emperor of Zahir, the first exile, and my liege. This chapter concerns him and those who have found him in the downside. Each of us was sent to take his life. Such was the hatred for him and around his country. Yet we found in Solium Mur a man transformed in body, mind and spirit, a man deserving of much more than mercy. In his time he is named, he has named us all his scribes and he became the eighth. It is my greatest honour now to share with you his deeds. Cool. Let's have a chat with Yodario instead. I am very afraid, and you're also very cool, and I'm going to leave it as that. I feel like we're going to make a terrible decision. Um, Yes, you could kill me at a moment's notice, but am I going to uh, lie to you, or am I just not going to say anything? I don't know, maybe say nothing will make it worse, but who knows. Hmm. You know what? I'll admit it. You can be a bit intense. Amazing, I chose the wrong answer. <laughs> awesome. Oh well, I should have just said nothing. I usually tend to make blunders when talking to people anyway. Hello Sky. Welcome to um, this strange, unexpected, unusual thing that um, is definitely not my usual content, but if you don't know, when I'm not making shit posts, I'm doing this. Today we are playing Pyre, which is a game that I haven't completed. I got halfway through and then just kind of kind of quit, but yeah, I thought I might as well use this opportunity to play through it properly, because um, one of my new New Year resolutions to myself is to um, actually play more indie games rather than being stuck in MMOs and stuff instead. Oh yeah, I forgot about this character. Completely forgot about the stowaway. No. 
I'm also not going to read the entire dialogue, otherwise I shall kill my own voice. Um, yeah, please feel free to read along. Uh, I apologize if I click through kind of fast. Sure thing, come join us. We tend to, you know, pick up everyone in our travels now and just decide to take them along. Why not? We are a hospitable bunch. The thing is, what shall we call you? We we'll just keep you as girl. Cool. That, that oh, 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 sweetie. Oh, sweetie, I, hmm, oh, hello, hello, and, 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 Hi, how are you doing? Welcome. But yeah, you know, when people say people call your names, that's 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 not a good that's that's not a good thing, you know. Please be kind to yourself. Oh we get to pick. Sure, I'll call you Anne. Welcome aboard, Anno. You probably weren't expecting this, but hi. We get to uh, we get to pick a name. We also have other possibilities. <laughs> we can call her Bay. <laughs> we can also call her Gay. <laughs> uh, I'm immature. No. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Anno. Thank you for the like and the subscribe. That sounds really weird to say. But, um, Faye. Faye is also cool. K. I think I might go with K. I think I had an OC once called K. I'll go with that. Why not? Sure. You can call me whatever you want, I don't mind. It's just mingles, but um sure. We shall go with the word K. Why not? K the unkept. She is a young, average, vagabond girl with odd manner and an unshakable sense of curiosity. Marvellous. What did you get, Anno? What did you get? Please enlighten us. And by enlighten us, I mean my one to one to two viewers. I 
Hmm. You know what? Let me just um. You know what? I I feel like I I don't know what that is. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I feel really bad for not knowing. I don't know, I'm not cool anymore. I'm just sad and cynical. <laughs> I wish I was cool. But thank you anyway. Let's consider our options, shall we? What do we have? Where to go? Oh, thank you. Thank you again for the subscription. However, let's see what uh, Eudario has to say. certain junctures you may choose from several vocations. Use what time you have. Okay, so these are like tarot cards. Mentor a companion, study in private, or forage for resources. Hmm. So this will help me during the basketball games, the wizard basketball games, and then this would help me with Valuables to add to your black wagon stash of goods. I don't know. Oh, interact to, to forage for resources. Mentor a companion. And that just raises their rank in the rights more quickly. Then we're going to do a bit of study in private. Why not? Now the thing is, I don't know what this does, right? Hope reduces your fellow exile's banishment duration. Uh, quickness, that's kind of a given. Presence, the size of the exile's aura. And then, can't do this one yet. I think I'll go with this one. I think having more people on the field would be a lot better. This game, this game's called Pyre. It is, um, it is by um, Supergiant Games, who also made um, their most famous game is Hades. They just recently announced Hades too. Um, however, they did make games before that. One of them being Pyre. The other one is another one that I've played before. Um, here, which is called Transistor, which was very fun to revisit after four years of not playing it. And then the only one that I haven't, um, well, I've completed it, but I haven't revisited it, which is uh, Bastion, which I think I shall be having a, a look at that probably after I finish this. Oh, hey, Capybara. 
we have a uh, we have a small audience today, and I completely uh, forgot what I was reading. The glue hive or the flat fall. I think we're gonna go with the flat fall, full flat. There we go. That's the one. We go with this one. How are you doing, Capybara? Welcome back. I need to watch your own stream, which was the Nintendox one. I'll get around to it eventually. I've just been been very busy this week. I've also enjoyed the um, pictures of you using your um, your new. Um, I just know it as a dictaphone. I don't know if it's the same piece of technology, but to like record sound with, that's been quite fun to look at. The slug market. Sure. We can go buy some slugs. Look at this face. Look at this tiny face. <laughs> okay, that's more horrifying than I thought it would be. It's a goblin. Well, it looks like a goblin. A goblin slug thing. Yeah, I, I guess portable recorder also. Yeah. I guess that works. Um, I used to use one for university when I was there. Uh, used to record lectures. I was never very good though. Always picked up on way too much sound from other students. Oh no, they're teaching us how to be capitalists, have to buy and consume things. Cool. I don't know what it's asking me to do, I'm just doing it. Sure. Um, you can have it, Hedwin. You're cool. I don't know what it does, what does it do? Okay, you might return immediately after being banished. As I mentioned before, I'm not really going to be reading all of this. Um, feel free to pause if you want to read it, but um, I don't want to damage my throat. And I'm 
also not a trained voice actor. Hello. Hello, Spike. Good for you to join us. Though, I should be going until about 3 o'clock, and then I shall be sleeping. So, still got some time. Sorry, that was incredibly quick there. I just skipped right through it. I tried to be a little bit slow with my clicking. Three AM is prime gamer hours. It is also prime sad time hours. Oh, this was because I asked him what he did to be um, exiled out here. He's now given me his story. Okay, so this is basically my inventory. And you can see all the profiles too. Mm. Yeah, so we just learned a little bit more about his biography. And how, and how he was exiled too. Got Yodari or Race Demon, okay. And then, uh, what's his name? I've forgotten your name. Ruki. <laughs> Trafficker. Oh no. Right, I suppose that we go and play wizard basketball. I can now show off my amazing skills. What brings you to the spring of Gomia? Why, it must have been the stars. Although it seems that your triumvirate now number four exiles, not to be expected to flee. The rules of the rites were not created for you to dispatch. Prepare now to confront Traditions of the scribes and surely have been longing for this chance. But first, you have a choice to make. Yeah, I think that now we have four characters, we can pick and choose who we want to play during 
the wizard basketball game. Once again, Supergiant Games always gets it amazing with the character designs. Confront the fate. Yeah, I wish I um, I wish I just had the motivation to download um, FGO on my phone. But even after just wanting it for like five years and it wasn't available in Europe, I just can't be bothered anymore. I've got Ensemble Stars now if I want to go and play a mobile game. Sorry, but Delbert Oldheart is an amazing name. Cool, thanks for the free stuff. Oh, you're so wholesome, so, so pure to the world. I mean, same. Sure, we'll try K in this one. Why not? Now we shall get started. Okay. Okay, so they're not following normal convention and going with Yodario. It is Jodario. I don't know why. Usually it would be like Yodario, like Jotun, but no. They're going with Jodario. Fine. I was saying it wrong all along. Yeah, I know what you mean. Like, it's not said like Jotunheim. It's they're saying it as Jotunheim, which is really weird. That was too close for comfort. Thanks, I got caught on a rock. Stop it. Oh no, I'm not very good. Stop it. Was, uh, too close for comfort. A boon comes from the stars themselves. 
Oh no, I fucked up. We're getting better at this. Yeah, that was a bit of a struggle. Maybe I'm not as much as a pro as I thought I was. to learn from this experience. It seems the exile's rookie opened up his eyes a bit. A blessing from the Alpha Chief himself. Do you play um, FG bar, Capybara? I know it's quite popular in like the states as well. I don't think it's as popular over here. Oh, <laughs> fair enough. I just thought I might mention it since you met mentioned it as well, but what do you mean by th thankfully? It's not that bad, is it, the Fate franchise? I mean, I've watched some series of it, but... Oh, yeah. I've heard the monetization is really bad. I mean, we've literally had it over here for like a couple of months. I know it's been out in the States for a while. Um, but I think there was like a weird sort of... I'm, I'm not sure why, why they didn't have it over here for such a long time in Europe. Um, might have been... I, I guess it was law related or copyright related. I don't, I don't really remember without looking it up. But 
Oh well. Yeah, I've been getting ads for it like crazy. But yeah, it's only been out here for a few months. Like, I think it came out last year over here. There, there was some weird um, law thing. Um, or I, I can't remember what it, what it was now. Might have to do... Might, might be uh, due to some names um, and some of the characters in it. You know, because you've got like... Um, um, Jean d'Arc, um, or Joan of Arc, um, and I know that's like quite tied to, uh, you know, the French take it very seriously, but, um, I don't know, can't, can't really say for certain. Otherwise, the only thing I can think of is that it might be a um, monetization issue because I know um, I know that like the UK has looked into stuff like gacha mechanics before. Um, I know in the Netherlands, I think they've banned certain loot boxes from like FIFA games and stuff like that. I'm not sure if that might be an issue, but yeah. <laughs> oh dear. No, not not everyone is okay with the. Uh, yeah. But. Uh, that 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 just seems to be a them issue, you know. I don't mind, you know, as long as the characters look cool. Imagine not being born under the Scorpus star, star of the old cutter that is born under it are wiser than most. You just have that natural plus two wisdom step. But I think this is the one that we're going to. Ha-oob. 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 Or ha up, the midnight star. The midnight star burns bright with the standing stones at the edge of flagging hands. Imagine not being a scorp head. Exactly. I don't think I. Can, oh no, I can go back and look at the other stuff. There you go. Got the um, Geminian. Gemini Ian. I like that one because, of course, I'm I'm a Gemini. I'm slightly biased. Oh look, Ferdin Star. Star of the Broken B B B Boa Boya. Boa. Those born under it are steadfast or narrow minded. It's, you know. Paisa. Star of the Wooded Watcher. Those born under it are mysterious and alluring. Sagithol. Star of the Whistling Prince. Those born under it are possess a natural exuberance. And. Cassius, star of the seventh jester, those born under it tend to be rather complicated. Imagine that. God, you're such a Cassius. <laughs> the the turf star. Oh 
Oh look, skeleton. Just a random skeleton jump scare. Not to get too serious, but I've been seeing some of like, um, cause I have a friend, they're non-binary and they also tend to get a lot of flame and just, you know, it's really upsetting seeing like a lot of, the lot of shit that just happens on this island specifically. Like it's not wrong to call it Turf Island, like there are really some vile people out there, but anyway, this is fun. We're supposed to be having a fun time and try not to think about real world issues. I mean, it's inevitable, inevitable anyway, but it's and, and you just see people get excited over stuff like Hogwarts, Hogwarts Legacy, and it's like, ugh, really. I mean, some of the memes are amusing, but. It's, it's ugh, awful. Don't want to touch it, ever. But anyway, let's have a look at who's in here. Oh, Hedwin. Cool, let's look for the minstrel. I mean, we've been down here before. But they could have moved on. I'm gonna trust the headwind. Yeah, I've seen the, um, like, comparison videos as well, where it's like, you know, casting spells in, like, Dragon's Dogma looks, like, ten times better than it does in Hogwarts Legacy. And like, um, same with games like Dragon Age Inquisition, which came out like 10 years ago, looks so much better. Okay, this isn't totally ominous. Accept. 
Okay, I completely forgot about this. I thought it was just basketball games, but no, we have to fight monsters as well. Oh, these things are adorable. How can you be afraid of these things? Thank you for putting a big sign on my uh, on my screen. You know what? It feels like someone in the office turned around and said we can't just have the entire game be a basketball wizard game. Players are going to be bored, but no. Personally, I prefer basketball wizard game to this. I know, right? I'm such a terrible player. And it needs to give me a uh, aim assist. Oh no, I spoke too soon. Yes, we shall adopt the bat owl thing. Sure. <laughs> nice, we can now understand the imp. Sure, why not? I just realized that even though I've been going for like an hour and a half, the chat's kind of covering the text box but it's still visible it's fine I mean I could move it but I mean I, c I could move it oh no I, I moved the actual thing no wrong thing there we go this there we go that's better that should be better I know, I just realised I missed the opportunity to speak with a companion. Oh well. My fault. My bad.
It's the minstrel. I forgot about the minstrel. They're looking very out of place. Apparently this person was traveling with us the entire time and we didn't notice. Wait. Wait, I th what? Wait am I thinking of, of a different person? I'm pretty sure it's this person. Oh. <laughs> they weren't talking to us. Tariq, or Tarek, Tariq, the lone minstrel. He appears to be a traveling musician, yet seems to be connected to the rites. We've seen the uh, slug goblin before. He is um, a unique character. Sure, thank you. I think we shall take a look at these another time. Uh, I think we've got a new story in here. However, once again, I'm not going to read it because I'm going to end it soon. And you can feel free to screenshot it, and I know chat's also covering the screen there, but be my guest to read through. <laughs> a lot of text for a wizard basketball game but I do enjoy it it's one of those games that you got to take slowly but um, yeah I also don't want to ten spend like 15 hours on this game <laughs> also if I read all of it my throat would be very very sore I think on that note I'm going to end it there if that's alright with everyone else I'll let you have a choice but I'm going to end it now because I really need to go to the bathroom <laughs>
not gonna lie, been sitting down here for about an hour and a half. But yeah, thank you for joining me. I probably won't be here tomorrow because I'm out in the evening. I'm going to a party. So yeah, I'm going to a work party for someone who's leaving. So I'll be out, I'm afraid. So I thought I'd try and get this one in now. But it's been a pleasure having you all. Thank you, Capybara. Thank you, Spike. Thank you, Sky. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anton, for appearing for a brief moment. And yeah, I shall catch you all later. Have a good morning, evening, or afternoon. And um, enjoy your weekends. It's going to be a good one, I hope. I shall catch you later. Bye-bye. <laughs>